A man accused of driving under the influence and killing two pedestrians in North Las Vegas on New Year's Day appeared before a judge today. That incident happened Sunday afternoon at the intersection of Aliante Parkway and Nature Park Drive by the 215. Joshua Pagaro joining us now live. And Joshua, you spoke directly to the family of one of the victims. Yes, the family of 51 year old Tracy Sundberg is devastated. She and 68 year old Randall Ray were out enjoying a New Year's Day walk when they were struck waiting right here to cross the street. As you can see, this is one of several memorials set up in the area. You have flowers, notes, and candles. The crash also left residents in the neighborhood hoping for change. I am very protective of my children, especially when we cross. I try to instill in them checking both ways, and just because you look doesn't mean that the driver's looking for you. Michael Harriman has lived in this neighborhood for 10 years. He sees cars speeding all the time on Aliante Parkway. People are, I don't think, concerned about the guy next door. They're not concerned about the person next to him. That may hold true of what happened on New Year's Day. Police say 21-year-old Fernando Reyes backed into a car on the Aliante and 215 overpass. When the driver asked him for his insurance, he took off speeding south on Aliante when he ran a red light at Nature Park Drive, hitting another car that was making a turn. That forced Reyes onto the sidewalk where he struck Tracy Sundberg and Randall Ray. In court, prosecutors say he was under the influence of Xanax. You understand the consequences of what's contained in this criminal complaint and what it carries. Reyes tried leaving the scene of that crash too, but a good Samaritan tackled him to the ground and others helped hold them down until police arrived. Police say he showed no remorse for what happened. As for the residents who live in this area, they believe more should be done to clamp down on reckless driving. The more they see the police, I think that's when you really people start to slow down and uh, get more cautious because then they have the fear of actually being ticketed or some sort of uh, penalty. In a statement, Tracy Sunberg's family tells me they're devastated by the senseless murder of her and Randall Ray. They say Tracy was a hospice nurse who devoted her life to helping others, including her two daughters. And Randy was looking forward to retirement. Reporting live from Aliante and Nature Park, Joshua Peguero, 8 News Now. Joshua, thank you. And Sunberg's family also say they really appreciate the bystanders who helped at the scene, including those who prevented Reyes from trying to leave.